All right, our read aloud is The Dumb Bunnies Go to the Zoo by Dave Pilkey. This is the same author that does Captain Underpants and Dragon and Dogman. Okay, so let's get started. The Dumb Bunnies Go to the Zoo by Dave Pilkey. One morning in October, the Dumb Bunnies went outside to pick things in their garden. Mama Bunny was picking her flowers. She had tulips, daffodils, petunas, mums, dads, poppies, and kitties. Papa Bunny was picking his vegetables. Easter eggplant, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, squash, ham and eggplant. And Baby Bunny was picking his nose. That's my boy, said Papa Bunny. What should we do today, asked Mama Bunny. I want to go see paintings and sculptures and great works of art, said Baby Bunny. I know just the place, said Papa Bunny. So they headed off to the zoo. Hold on. I think they were meant to go to the museum. City Zoo. Food, fun, strong odors, two miles, 18 kilometers ahead. Drive safely. Uh, the math doesn't quite add up on that one. So here's the City Zoo. When they got to the zoo, the dumb bunnies ran over to the ticket man. Duh! Hi, lady, said Papa Bunny. We'll take four tickets, said Mama Bunny. One for each of us, said Baby Bunny. One, two, three. There's only three of them. Free admission, free ice cream, free popcorn, all for one low price. Inside the zoo, the dumb bunnies got some ice cream and began to look around. Custard's last stand. Try our little big cone. And they're eating it upside down. Oh no, the baby bunny has the popsicle stick in his mouth. First, they saw a tiny white creature standing on a sign. What's that animal? asked baby bunny. Duh, said Papa Bunny. The sign says elephant. I didn't know elephants had wings and feathers, said Mama Bunny. Me neither, said Papa Bunny. We sure are learning a lot of things at the zoo. Do not feed the elephants. Uh-oh, do not forget to feed the elephants. That's a sneaky elephant, all right. Next, they came to a cage and saw another tiny creature standing on a sign. What's that animal, said Baby Bunny. Duh, said Papa Bunny. The sign says lion. There's the lion. His scientific name is Bitus Your Armus Office. That can't be a lion, said Mama Bunny. Lions have stripes. You're right, said Papa Bunny. Hang on, zebras have stripes. This book is way too silly to read. Suddenly, this strange creature fluttered off and landed right on Mama Bunny's arm. Look, Mama, cried Baby Bunny, it does have stripes. Then it must be a lion, screamed Mama Bunny. Help, help, the lion has escaped. All at once, all the zoo is in a panic. Everyone ran off screaming, the lion is loose. Here's frozen spaghetti on a stick. Mmm, yum. Papa and Baby Bunny ran to each of the animals' cages and opened the doors. The lion is loose, they screamed. Run for your lives. And the animals scattered in fear. Even the lion looks pretty scared there. Soon the police arrived to capture the dangerous lion. Where's the lion, ma'am? asked the police chief. He flew away, said Mama Bunny. Wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. Let's see what they're serving. Hot dogs, chili dogs, room temperature dogs, cotton candy, polyester candy, snow cones, sleep cones, French flies, and soup on a rope. After that, the dumb bunnies decided it was time to go home. Whee! cried Baby Bunny. Free kitties. On their way back to the parking lot, they came across two more strange creatures. What are those big animals? Asked Baby Bunny. Duh, said Papa Bunny. The box says, free kitties. I wonder how much they cost, said Mama Bunny. Can I keep them? Asked Baby Bunny. All right, said Mama and Papa Bunny, but only if you promise not to take care of them. I promise, said Baby Bunny. Oh my, those are some pretty scary gorillas. Papa Bunny tied Baby Bunny's new kitties to the roof of the car. Duh, they'll be safe up there, he said. Do not exit. Turn back, I tell you. Stop it. You're going the wrong way. Severe tire damage. And they went over and clunk. The whole way home, Baby Bunny talked and talked about his new kitties. 
I sure do love my new kitties, said Baby Bunny. I'm going to name them Pee Wee and Wee Wee. Seconds later, the dumb bunnies pulled into their garage. The kitties are gone, said Papa Bunny. Duh, what kitties, asked Baby Bunny. By now, it's getting late, so the dumb bunnies went inside and put on their new pajamas. I got these at a half-off sale, said Mama Bunny. I thought so. Look, they only have half of their pajamas. Then they crawled into their new waterbed. This was the best week we've had all day, said Baby Bunny. That's my boy, said Papa Bunny. And as the sun sets slowly in the east, really slow, uh, it really sets in the west, the dumb bunnies turned on all their lights and said good morning and fell fast asleep. That's a pretty silly book, all right. I hope you enjoyed it.